All right, back at our chart is our figure. There's a few things I want to format on this. First off, I'm going to get rid of this thing here that says chart title, because when you're putting a figure into a lab report, you should have the title and all the important information down here at the very bottom. And at the end, we'll talk about what should go down here below within the body of your lab report. So I am just going to select that and on my computer, I'm going to click delete. It's gone. All right. So that's great. Got rid of that one. Uh, next thing I want to do is down here on my axis, I have one, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight because we have eight different time points, but I want to put in the actual times. So what I want to do for that is I'm going to, I just, let me click off of it. I just clicked in here, all right? Now I'm going to, let me say that again. I left my mouse click, your typical one that you use when you're selecting something. Now I'm going to right mouse click. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to select the data for that. Okay. So I am going to edit the data for that and I'm going to, uh, whoops, and I'm going to select a data range. All right. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go from zero all the way over to 105 and OK. All right. And you may notice that down on my chart, it went from zero to 105. All right. So OK. Happy with that. What other things do I want to do? Well, you know, what I may want to do is I want to see how different these two series are from each other. And one good way to do that would be to add in error bars. So that's why I went up here and I calculated my standard deviations. We're going to use that data now. So I'm going to select my 15% glucose series and I'm going to add something to that series. I'm going to add error bars, all right? Now those error bars are not correct. They're all exactly alike. You may notice that our standard deviations are not all alike. So I'm going to select this little arrow next to it. And okay, so these are not correct. I don't know why they even, I select more options. Okay, so now I have more options. And I, so I could pick a fixed value, a percentage, standard deviation, standard error. I'm going to select a custom and we're going to specify the values. Okay, so another little box came up. It's over here. And I have positive error value and negative error value. And remember, this is going to be plus or minus whatever the standard deviation is. So I'm going to get rid of, I just backspaced over the positive, and I'm going to select a range, All right? So I'm going to come over here to my standard deviation, and I'm going to select a range for the standard deviation for the up arrow, and that's the one I'm going to select, and then get rid of the this one and I'm going to select a different range. So I'm going to select the, oh, I'm going to select the same one because it's plus or minus. All right. And click OK. Now I have my error bars and these are actual standard deviation error bars for, um, for the for the 15% sucrose. Right, so next, I'm going to select my second ones. So this is for the water, and I'm going to add error bars to that. I'm going to select more options, and I'm going to do custom again, specify the value, have the positive, so I'm going to backspace and get rid of that, and click here, 
and tell it I need the water. I'm going to select that entire data range and click that again over here and get rid of now plus or minus. So get rid of that. Tell it I'm going to select a range. Actually select my range. Oops, there we are. Click that again. Now I have both my positive and negative error values and click OK. All right. All right, so we're looking better. I mean, we've got all sorts of information. We've got this range for, ooh, wait, what is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, so what do I want to do? I want to add in axis titles. All right, so I have axis titles on both. So let's first, we're going to, so let's select down here and I'm gonna get rid of that. And this is going to be, I'm going to type in time and it's in minutes. And over here, this is always weird because I know it's, it's going the opposite way, but you can just select it. And this was our actual blood glucose. And that's measured in milligrams per deciliter. Great. All right, we're getting, getting a lot better formatted with this now. What else might I want to do with this? Well, I don't like having my legend, my series down there. So I'm going to, I selected it with my regular left mouse click. Now I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to format the legend and I want to put it over on the right hand side. I'm used to seeing legends over on the right hand side. I just like it better. All right, how can I make this even better now? Oh, look at this in my, in our Y axis, our vertical axis. You know, this is just a lot of dead area down here, especially. So I don't like that range. So I'm going to select it. I just uh, left mouse clicked on that and I am going to, how do I get to that alignment? I'll click over here. So I clicked on the axis options. Oh, look, bounds. I can get a maximum and a minimum. All right, so if I look, I want to make sure I get the full area with my error bars, but it looks like I don't need anything below 60 milligrams per deciliter. So I'm going to make the minimum. I'm going to select that and I'm going to type in six zero. All right. And then for the maximum, well, it, it automatically went to 180. It's like it realized that I wanted to have the best range. Okay. All right. Let's go back here. Let's look at our graph again. I'm really liking this. Looks good. I have error bars. I have my two lines. I have a legend. Uh, I have, yeah, I think this looks good. I would be happy with this in my lab report. So what you probably want to do at this point is save this. So I'm going to go to file and save as and this was actually from blood glucose spring data. So I'm going to click that and to this PC. I'm going to save it though and with figure. Okay. And I'm going to save that. Great. So what do we really want to do with this? Well, we want to put it in a uh, in your lab report. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to open up, I'm going to find Microsoft Word. Yeah, I'm going to, do I not have Microsoft Word? Microsoft Word. Uh-oh, do I not have Word installed in here? Cancel, I don't want to close all my browsers. Minimize that. 
Sorry guys, I gotta kind of figure this out. Why can't I suddenly, this is my home computer. So not word on Wikipedia. I wanna open up apps. Hmm, documents. All right. All right, so let's pause here and I will figure out how to get Microsoft Word open on my computer and I'll show you how I want this formatted within Microsoft Word.